Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Each October the Earth passes through the inbound debris of Halley's Comet to produce the Orionid meteor shower. The outbound activity is seen in April and May of each year as the Eta Acreid meteor shower. Orionid activity is usually low until mid-October, when we pass closer to the core of these orbits. The Orionids are a medium-strength shower, usually producing 15 to 20 showers members per hour at maximum as seen from dark sky locations. There have been surprises in the past when rates were three times this strong. Such strong activity is not expected this year, but only by observing this activity will we know for certain what occurs. This solar flare classification chart shows low flare activity from the last three days, with nothing registering above and C-class. The CME activity from the last 24 hours is observed on this LASCOC2 filter, which shows multiple eruptions occurring, but nothing significant that is Earth-facing. Mercury is also seen making its orbit around the back of the Sun. Here is the expanded view of the CME erupted from the Sun moving out through space, with the Lasco C3 filter added. On the left side of this filter, Mars can be seen moving into view with its orbit which will be in front of the Sun, nearer to Earth. This HMI intensity gram map shows the sunspot regions on the Earth-facing side of the Sun. Sunspot 3468 is directly Earth-facing today. Its class size is 70 which means it is about 210 million square kilometers, and has a 1% chance of producing an X-flare. SDO filter 171 shows the beauty of our Sun, it shows the coronal surface, with all the intricate details of the Sun's activity. Shown is a clip from the 19th through the 22nd. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Yeah.